Grand Theft Auto 6. It's like the mythological unicorn of the internet. It's a game millions are dying for, but we are just not getting. Therefore, many began to start speculating. Others started to spread lies. And as time went on, some went out and publicly showed their desire for the game. But for us to understand just how this became the most hyped piece of content in pop culture history, we have to go back to the release of its predecessor. September 17th, 2013 was the release of Grand Theft Auto V. A team of roughly a thousand people worked on the game, and the game made $800 million on its first day. And that's no surprise. It's a really good game. It was graphically fantastic and filled with countless little details that made it that much better. If you entered a body of water, only the part of you that was in the water will actually be wet. When you exit a car, it does the little click, click, click. When you're on the internet, the mouse is a middle finger. It all added to the world of Los Santos. The game's map is a giant parody of LA with activities to enjoy, nods to real life locations, and the map is riddled with silly advertisements. The radio stations play real music and parody real radio with DJs and more ads. The pharmaceutical industry is at it again. They don't want you to vote yes on Proposition 208 and legalize medical cocaine. The story involved Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. Michael is a wealthy family man who has an extensive criminal past that resorts back to the lifestyle. Franklin is a gangbanger who wants to use his skills for bigger and better things, and Trevor is a maniacal, entertaining character who does whatever the hell he wants. Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's is it seven dollars. I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Now, what adds to GTA V's greatness is the ability to switch between these three at a moment's notice. Bored of Michael and his family drama? Then switch to Franklin and see what's going on in his life. Or switch to Trevor and murder some hillbillies. This all added to the freedom of the game. There is no one correct way to play. If you love driving, drive anywhere you want to, for as long as you want to. Maybe fly a plane or a helicopter. That's up to you if you want to steal it or purchase one for yourself. Why not look for a ghost and solve a mystery? Or check out some UFOs? It's the stuff like this that really made Grand Theft Auto V stand out. GTA Online released later on October 1st, which allowed people to enjoy the world of GTA V with their friends. It is because of all these wonderful things that GTA V is the most profitable piece of entertainment media ever. Let that sink in. This means it has made more money than any other video game, movie, show, or book. As you can imagine, this means the hype for a sequel was massive, and it only got more wild as time went on. It has now been about two years after the re-release of Grand Theft Auto V on next-gen consoles and the PC port, which introduced mods to the world of Grand Theft Auto. The game now has a first-person mode and new guns, and GTA Online now has heists, among other new content. IGN reported on a rumor that Rockstar Games is busy working on GTA 6. This seems to be the first time a gaming news channel reported on Grand Theft Auto 6 rumors. Meanwhile, Rockstar just announced Red Dead Redemption 2 for a fall 2017 release date. This is another highly anticipated game as well, but knowing that the studio was working on this subtly means GTA 6 is going to release well after fall 2017. It's been three years since the release of Grand Theft Auto V, and 6 is still nowhere in sight. GTA Online continues to get updated, YouTubers continue to make videos on the game, but GTA 6 is nowhere to be found. The desire for it is now prominent on the internet. YouTuber Sernando uploaded a video titled GTA 6 Early Unboxing, playing GTA 6 early. Guys, look what came in the mail! Inside is the bag. We got what we've been waiting for for freaking years, man. C cut to the chase. Inside this thing right here, we got Grand Theft Auto 6. Ah! I got the game! There it is, people! There it is, Grand Theft Auto 6! 
I guess now we uh we open the game. Oh my god. Training your adopted dog. The video is nothing but clickbait. A few weeks later, he uploads another video and it's more of the same. So, look what I got early from Rockstar Games themselves. Oh god, there it is. There it is, people. There. Grand Theft Auto 6. Here you guys can see that it's not fake whatsoever from what I see. All 100% real. And here's the Grand Theft Auto 6 box art. As you guys can see. All 100% legit. While the content is goofy, it does show that the internet is now heavily interested in the game. In April of 2019, GameRanks posted the video, Is Rockstar Taking Too Long with GTA 6? This video perfectly showcases the impatience people are feeling with Rockstar games. At this point in time, GTA 5 has been out for almost six years. Online still gets major updates, a casino was added in July, and the casino heist was added in December. Plus, Rockstar now supports Red Dead Online. GTA 6 is nowhere in sight. The impatience for GTA 6 is showcased perfectly when a man crashes a German TV show asking for the game. Weil du, die halten nicht alle für total dumm, aber du bist eigentlich gar nicht so dumm. Oh, einen guten Tag, Herr ist mein Name. Ich würde gerne wissen, wo zur Hölle ist GTA 6? Ich warte immer noch auf GTA 6 seit acht Jahren. GTA 6? Genau. Da warte ich Scheiße, da... Oh, die Kamera. Hast du mich erschrocken? GTA 6, ich habe keine Ahnung, da muss es ja irgendwann... Ist das das liegt doch nicht an mir, das müssen, wenn die Programme... Aber GTA ist doch ein Computerspiel, oder genau, nicht? Genau, GTA 6. Kenn ich nicht. Wir setzen am besten ein Zeichen, einmal in die Kamera schreien. Wo ist GTA 6? Nee, das brauche ich nicht, weil ich, ich habe ja, hab ja fünf noch nicht mal durch. Ja, wir sehen uns dann mal. Irgendwann mal. Ja. <lacht> Wurde der jetzt von Take Two bezahlt oder wer macht das Spiel? I've never seen fans get this impatient for a sequel of anything. Rockstar then announces the release of Grand Theft Auto V. Again. Expanded and enhanced for the next gen consoles. Asking the public to pay for their game for a third time was maddening to many. Even Elon Musk commented on the situation through Twitter. GTA Online added Franklin from the story mode and Dr. Dre through the contract update. September 18th, 2022 just might be the most significant day in GTA 6 hype history. A 17-year-old from the UK leaked actual information on Grand Theft Auto 6. Gameplay clips and details flooded Twitter and other platforms, and a 50-plus page document was revealed to the world full of leaked information on the game. Rockstar's parent company began taking down posts, but a lot is still out there to this day. Certain details of the game became solidified, it will take place in Vice City, and the game will feature two protagonists, Lucia and Jason. If this is true, Lucia will be the first female protagonist of the series, and the two may parallel Bonnie and Clyde. The following day, Rockstar gives an actual statement on this. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned, and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon, and of course, will properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation. The Rockstar Games team. The pressure is on Rockstar, and they're definitely feeling it now. It's been nine years since the release of Grand Theft Auto V, and this is the first time Rockstar actually addressed that they are working on a sequel. I also think it's worth pointing out that they don't outright call it Grand Theft Auto VI. It probably is, but it would be very heartbreaking if it only ended up being a spin-off. 
We're now at the point in the timeline where Rockstar actually needs to give the fans a reveal trailer so things can calm down, because the hype is only getting more extreme. Remember the guy that crashed the German TV show asking for GTA 6? He returned. In the season are the results first to rest. Ali, my name is Lazy, I'm from Sport 1, Team GTA 6. GTA 6, my name is Jackson. GTA 6, Grand Theft Auto 6. Sag mal. Sie jetzt bitte das Set verlassen, aber ganz schnell. GTA Y City? Yeah, yeah, Y City. Yeah, wieder schauen. Aber schnell. Shortly after this, he interrupted Jeff Keighley at Gamescom as well. Don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Uh, yes, exactly. All right. Well, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. Clearly, the hype hasn't died down this year. There's a whole GTA 6 News Twitter account run by a fan that managed to get the blue check mark and everything. According to the Twitter page, the map is rumored to be twice the size of GTA 5's, and in general, it will be constantly evolving with new locations added over time. The water physics will be really good apparently, and surfing has been brought up a lot in that conversation. People are saying it's going to cost over $100, that better not be true. But what's really interesting is this video circulating online of the Franklin voice actor with one of the alleged GTA 6 protagonists. I haven't figured out everything, but what I do know is that this is the most powerful and dangerous thing that I've ever encountered. So you bring it to me. Man, it's always something with you and the fucking Blast crew, dog. Believe me, this time we were not looking for trouble. Yeah, whatever, homie. This level of it. You in the big league now. I kind of knew y'all would get to this point. But I wish you fucking wouldn't have, dog. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Shit. You want to see what's inside? Yeah, fuck it. You ready? I said, yeah, motherfucker. All right. Oh, hell no. Nah. I also want to point out the hype around this guy. His Instagram is swarming with people who think he's in GTA 6. And to be fair, some of his posts are really random and vague. So we really could be looking at the faces of Grand Theft Auto 6 here. On top of this, there is another video recorded on an iPhone that sounded like a business meeting. A man's voice explains that the game will be announced on Monday, October 23rd of this year and released Thursday, October 24th of next year. Of course, everything here needs to be taken with a grain of salt. We've now made it to the present and here we are patiently waiting for GTA 6 after 5's 10 year anniversary. Regardless of the leaks and rumors, the announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6 must be coming sooner rather than later at this point, because I don't think people can wait any longer without committing crimes. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.